So we just revealed the next generation of the community scorecard. Uh, each year we've had it in print form. Uh, now it's online and it's interactive. And so anybody, anywhere can take a look at our community's progress. And that's what's a real major milestone is uh, to be able to look um, by different categories, by different indicators to say, where are we doing really well? And where, wow, we have a lot of work to do to improve it as a, as a community. You know, some ranks that you see come out and you know, it looks like quality of life. And then if you look at the measures, they're saying proximity to a beach. Well, we don't have that proximity to a beach, and so it's an unfair assessment on the quality of life here. Uh, so when you look at it through the lens of the community plan and you look at all 90 indicators, you can start to say, what drives quality of life in our neighborhoods? Uh, what drives quality of life um, in our workforce, um, in the future of our economy? And let that drive you know, how we shape the future of our community so that all people are um, living successful and meaningful lives here. So I think we're on course, right? And we can't, you know, we can't let back. We have to double down. We see we have needs. We need to focus on neighborhood revitalization, be thinking about the future of our economy. All of that ties in together uh, towards the success of our community. And so, yeah, we're tracking. We're on track. Um, but I really feel it's like, in, you know, it's like basketball, football, whatever, right? At halftime, right? You look, you evaluate, you course correct and say, wow, if we dive deeper into these areas, wow, we can, we can accelerate change and get to top 25, 2025.